Hey guys, what's up? It's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Alexis and I'm from New York City if you guys didn't know that about me. I've lived here my entire life. So I went on Instagram and TikTok and I asked you guys, what questions do you have about living in New York City? Comment any questions that you have because I'm going to be answering as many as I can. I'm going to go and answer them and pull them up right here right now because I feel like that's why you guys clicked on this video is to know really what it's like to live in New York City. The first question we have, what part of New York City is most affordable to live in? I would say in New York City, Manhattan as a whole is just insanely ridiculously expensive. So I would look in the outer boroughs like Queens and different areas over there because you could definitely get more bang for your buck. The next question we have is how do you find a roommate? Okay, the best way to find a roommate is to look on Facebook groups and on Instagram. So just like putting a blast out there is a great option. Finding mutual friends, just asking around. You'll definitely find one. There's also a bunch of different forums on Facebook too that you can check out. Is rent really expensive? Yes, rent in New York City is so ridiculously expensive. It's a little bit less right now because of COVID, but in general, it is just so insanely overpriced. In the city, are there more tourists or people who actually live there? So right now, obviously, because not many people are traveling to New York, it's mostly people who actually live there. But during the year, it totally depends on which neighborhood you go to. During the holidays, New York City is just packed with tourists. One of the questions that I got asked the most is which neighborhood in New York City is the safest? And I don't think that there's one neighborhood that's the safest, but I would definitely look for the more residential neighborhood. And I don't walk out at night at like midnight by myself on the streets because I just don't think that's safe in general. If I ever feel uncomfortable, I just like walk into a store or a building or I'll just like hop on the phone with like my mom or a friend. Another question that I got asked so much is what celebrities have you met in New York City? I have met so many celebrities. I also do a lot in like fashion and modeling too. So I've met a lot of celebrities through that, but some of recent highlights of celebrities that I met, let's do a little story time right here. I was leaving a workout class and then all of a sudden on 40th and Lexington, I saw Patrick Dempsey on the street and I just saw him and I was like, oh my God, Derek and I ran over and I got to talk to him which was so cool right before the pandemic I was eating at EJ's diner and Zendaya just happened to walk in and we got to talk to her and she was actually like an angel goddess so that was pretty cool too for all my people who like just graduated college and are super young one of the questions I got asked a lot was what neighborhood is good for people who just graduated college I would say one of the most popular areas for post-grad students to live is Murray Hill because the prices are less than if you're in like Soho or Tribeca or the West Village but you're still downtown you have like access to all the great public transportation what is my favorite cafe in new york city my favorite cafe of all time is bluestone lane they have the best avocado toast in the entire world it's so so delicious if you haven't been you have to go and check it out one question that i think a lot of people have when thinking about moving to new york city is how to make friends and obviously making friends is really tough anywhere that you live if you're going to school or work you can make friends there but if you want to make friends outside of that circle i would say join facebook group with like certain podcasts that you listen to. There's like subgroups of people that live in New York and people have meet up and start following people who also have like similar interests to you. I've met a lot of my friends through social media who also live in New York City. So I recommend doing that. Another great way to meet friends is taking classes. Like I've met so many friends through taking workout classes. You can take pottery classes. You can take sewing classes, just whatever you're interested in. Put yourself out there in the right situations. Go to restaurants and bars. You'll definitely meet people if you put yourself out there. It's like dating, it's the same kind of thing. Someone who definitely wasn't from New York asked this question, are subways sketchy? So right now, subways are actually the cleanest that they've probably ever been. Obviously, subways are gonna be sketchy no matter where you go because there's always just strange characters walking around, but I feel like that happens in like any sort of public transportation. But just like go with a friend if you don't feel comfortable or just like make sure someone knows your location. But I think you'll be totally fine because like most people in New York City take the subway. Do you need a car or do I have a car was another question I got asked. I personally actually don't have a car. We used to have a car, but we actually never used it. So we just got rid of it because the garages in New York City are ridiculously expensive. It's like a minimum $600 a month at like the cheaper end for garages. So I don't have a car. I mostly just use the subway. I use my own two legs right here to get around. I walk everywhere. I take buses. I take taxis or Ubers or Via, but you really don't need a car. It's also a pain for parking. What are the best places to work out? 
You guys don't know this about me. I love a good workout class. I have pretty much tried them all and I can say with assurance my favorite places are Rumble for boxing, which is like a great cardio workout also with a lot of strength training. My favorite favorite of the moment is the Sculpt Society by Megan Roop and it is at Project Equinox in Soho. The energy she brings is amazing and it's just like full on sculpting and also P-Volve. They have a brand new location downtown and the studio is stunning and they also have like the best dreaming service. If you want something that's a little bit more like high intensity interval training, everybody loves Barry's boot camp. So definitely check that out. So I'm from the Upper East Side and the question that everyone always asks me and then they're like, oh, where are you from? I'm like the Upper East Side. They're like, is it like Gossip Girl? This is a little bit of a tricky answer because Gossip Girl was physically filmed in Manhattan. So everything that you see around you is actually real. Like the Met is a real place. The school that they filmed exists. But the actual life that the characters in Gossip Girl live, like Serena and Blair, not that many people actually live like that. There's like a very small percentage of people who actually have those kind of lives. I do have a Gossip Girl guide up on my channel. I'll like link it out like right here or here. I'm not really sure where it's going, but um, I did like a day in the life of Gossip Girl and I went to like the Empire Hotel and it was really fun. Like just like being Blair Waldorf for the day because she's literally such a queen. Another question I got asked a lot was what is it like having a dog in New York City? It is the best thing in the entire world. It gets you up and out. I'm up at like 6.30 every single day, like bringing my dog to the park. It's very social just having a dog in the city. If you're thinking about getting a dog, just, just do it. You won't regret it, I promise you. What are must do's when you're visiting the city? You have to go to the Met because it is absolutely stunning. You should go to the Plaza Hotel and go to the shops along Fifth Avenue just to see that environment because that's pretty cool. You know what, you have to visit Times Square when you're going to the city. I would see the Empire State Building and the Freedom Tower also where the Oculus is over there and maybe Hudson Yards too. Someone asked me how bad is the rat slash roaches problem and I have to say it totally depends on the neighborhood. Like if you're in a super residential area where there isn't that much trash or garbage like there won't be that many rats or roaches but if you're going into like Grand Central Station area or Times Square there probably will be some rats or roaches there because people just leave the area so gross like with trash and garbage and you're bound to have some sort of like animal or bug if it's gonna be so dirty like that my last question that I'm answering drum roll please <laughs> Oh my god, I just, I laugh at myself. Do I ever get scared walking around by myself? Honestly, no. I'm 19 now and I've been totally independent since I was 13. There are so many people around you at all times that you just never feel scared walking around alone because you don't really ever feel alone. Like I said before, see and walk on the sides of the streets where doormen are. Don't go out like too late by yourself. Make sure like your friends know where you are, your parents know where you are. But otherwise, I think it's super safe. Well guys, that was it, my major New York City Q&A. If you liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe to help this video get pushed out to everybody. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you wanna be more part of these like poll questions. And if there are any other questions you have, comment them in the comments below, because I'll be answering them all. I love you guys so much, and I will see you back in my next video. Love you.